BDO Drive does two things. It works with businesses, one, to make life easier for them, so taking away the day-to-day -day strains of doing business through our outsourcing offerings, but it also helps businesses to uh, focus on what they want to do and where they want to get to and brings real practical solutions to help them do that. Following the merger with Moore Stevens, BDO now represents the largest outsourcing offering of any of the accounting firms within the UK with over 46 million of fees, working with businesses ranging from emerging businesses and early stage through to the largest global corporates. Uh, so it's a full range of services, full range of offering, uh, and it gives us that critical mass to now really push forward and grow our business. The biggest challenge that professional services face, in my opinion, is that as the world gets more and more complex, it becomes increasingly hard to be connected. So, for example, you've seen with the accounting profession, tax gets more complicated. That means that you start to specialise in niche areas of tax. But clients want a joined up service. They want all of that information brought to help them. And that's where technology really plays in, because technology brings those, that expertise back together to give a joined up service, but still allows individuals to focus on their areas of expertise. In addition to that, when you then think about globally the challenge, we're in a much more globally connected business, and again, technology plays in. So irrespective of timing differences around the globe, irrespective of language barriers, it's technology that actually provides the solutions to mean that businesses wanting to go global can be taken global. A couple of things that clients are telling us that they're really struggling with right now is the, first of all, they don't know what they don't know. We live in a world with so much information, uh, so they're looking to us as their advisors to really help them know the things, the pitfalls that might lie ahead of them. The second challenge they've got is as we globalise overall, we're suddenly finding disruption coming in from directions people didn't anticipate. So again, they're looking for knowledge about what might be their next disruption to their market. BDO uses technology to really enable us to deliver the advice that clients need. Technology enables us to be connected internally uh, to our colleagues to bring the right expertise in at the right time, but it also allows us to communicate better with our clients and understand their needs, and we use technology to give us insight, intelligence and information regarding our clients. Three pieces of advice that I would give to other professional service firms working with D365. The first one is don't limit yourself to what it can actually do because the system is actually going to show you lots of things that you didn't actually realise about your business. So actually embrace it, embrace what it can do and enjoy the fact that actually you're going to get much more insight on your business and don't limit yourself to purely marketing or purely sales. The second thing about this is about um, be realistic about that adoption. You know, don't put a system in place that you haven't put the pl uh, plans in place to ensure that your team are going to use it because if half of your team choose not to use it, you're missing the data and actually your insights are not meaningful. So make sure you're investing time and repeatedly, consistently, over time, reinforcing that message. I think that the third thing about this is about making sure that there are people in your team who really understand the system. The, so we took on someone as part of this process who really understood how to do the development and the great thing working with Alithia was actually it wasn't about them doing everything and then giving us the product and then every time we needed a change we had to come back and ask for a change. They equipped us to do the change. They equipped us to understand the product and equipped us to know how to use it. So that's meant actually we've been incredibly agile in being able to spin out new features, new functionality to help our business because with best will in the world, you're going to set requirements at the start and then a year down the line, you're going to sit there and say, but I also would like it to do the following. So equipping your team, the Alithia approach has really helped us to continue to be agile using the system and that agility has led to the adoption and the benefits through to the business. If I was 12 months on giving advice back to myself starting the project, I think what I would say is you need to recognise that implementing uh, D365, there's two halves to this. There, there are the outcomes, the things you're wanting from the system, and that's really important and important you stay focused. But actually 50% of the problem is about adoption, it's about the hearts and minds of individuals. You can put the best system in the world in front of people, but unless you are working with people about how they're going to use it, why they should use it, the benefits they're going to see, and also setting the right tone from the top in terms of adoption, you're not going to see that actually become a reality. So the advice is don't underestimate how much time and effort you need to put in to ensuring that people have bought into the project and people understand that this is business critical. If someone was sat on the fence right now wondering whether or not they should implement D365, I think what I would say to them is actually the evidence speaks for itself. We've been able to more than double our revenues and more than quadruple our profit. 
And actually, when we look at the quality of what our teams are doing and we look at the way they're engaging with their clients, we've seen radical change. People that historically might have been more focused on what they are doing, transforming and engaging with their clients, building relationships, building those sticky relationships, and really thinking about what problems clients are facing. So for me, the technology changes the way that we work. So if you sat on the fence, it's really a question about, are you looking to retire, which case don't spend the money, or if you want to transform your business and you actually want to then accelerate it forward, you're going to have to embrace technology and you're going to have to change the way you work. And this technology enables you to do that.